hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, digital electronics and so far uh, in the previous videos we discussed uh, about Carnot maps the different types of Carnot maps we have discussed SOP POS three variable four variable and uh, today we are going to discuss another important uh, concept related to Carnot maps simplification of boolean expressions using Carnot maps which is the don't care condition okay now so far we have discussed that uh, the K maps they are of two types first in uh, SOP K map sum of products K map and POS K map their uh, structure is different depending on the notations the uh, ways in which they are uh, the variables are arranged and also in SOP K map the one logic one they are plotted they are marked and POSK map zero is plotted for a particular input combination okay but the don't care condition is a special case in which the output for a particular boolean expression in a, which is implemented using a circuit digital circuit it is neither one nor zero now generally it is assumed that uh, if let's say if we have a particular k map i'm just uh, showing you a few cells we assume that whether it is a sob type k map or pos type k map if it is not one then it is zero or if it is not 0 then it will be 1 like that we assume but actually in some cases there are situations in which the output is neither 1 nor 0 what it means is that particular combination of inputs they are not allowed they are not allowed particular combinations of input so they are called as invalid conditions forbidden conditions so those things we will deal with when we'll discuss uh, the combinational logic circuits sequential logic circuits now it would be a little bit hard to explain what the invalid input combination means because we have not studied the circuit so when in future we'll discuss about combinational and sequential logic circuits there we will deal with these conditions the don't care conditions when we design such circuits and uh, uh, determine their output representations so for now you understand that the don't care condition it generally deals with uh, input combinations which are not allowed which are forbidden and in that case the output is neither one nor zero and the don't care condition is represented by marking that particular cell as x this generally this notation is used so we mark the respective cells for a particular input combination where the output is not specified with the where the output is uh, not specified for that particular input combination it is marked as x okay so this is the don't care condition so we'll solve some uh, questions related to don't care condition so that we are clear about how to deal with uh, questions where the don't care condition comes up okay so this is the first question related to SOP K map simplification for don't care condition so here we have this uh, boolean expression so here you can see 
that uh, the boolean expression is given in terms of the sum of min terms and here there is an extra thing present which is this the don't care terms which is 2 and 5 so SOP sum of min terms it means that the cells or the uh, cell values which are under the min term bracket there we will mark it as 1 that is 0 1 3 and 7 those will mark as 1 and the don't care values those cells will mark as x so what it essentially means is that the cells where which are under the don't care bracket which is marked as x for those input combinations see here cell 2 is marked as x which stands for the input combination a bar b c bar that is 0 1 0 it means this input combination is not allowed for this input combination the output is not allowed it is not specified similarly the marked cell 5 that is also under the forbidden condition that is a b bar c or 1 0 1 this also is under the don't care condition for which the output is not specified it is not allowed whereas for the remaining it is specified 0 1 3 7 for them the output is logic 1 and for the remaining it is 0 so now we'll form the groups so the first group which will be formed is you can see here we can form a quad and then here we'll form a quad now there are some rules uh, related to group formations using the don't care cells so we will uh, cover those things when we discuss more and more questions so this is the group formation always remember that it is not necessary to cover all the cells which are marked as x it is not necessary to group the cells which are marked as x the x marked cells are only helpful for group formation if we want to cover the one marked cells or zero marked cells but it is not necessary to group the x marked cells if some x marked cells are left behind there is no problem what i'm trying to say is that suppose in the don't care bracket there would have been another value cell value let's say x if suppose this cell would have been marked as x now there would have been no need to cover this cell under a group we would just leave it like, like that okay this would have been sufficient because there is no need to form a group involving this x mark cells but suppose here a one would have been present then it would have been very necessary to form the group in that case would have formed a quad another quad here involving two three six and seven you got my point but if it would have been x here then no need to form any group because it is not necessary to form a group to cover all the x mark cells if x mark cells are left behind there is no problem there it is not necessary but we can use the x mark cells to form groups along with the one or zero mark cells depending on whether it is sop or pos so the x mark cells they assist in group formation 
but it is not necessary to cover all the x mark cells with groups okay so this is the uh, group formation now we have to identify the common values so for this quad involving cells 0 1 3 2 the common variable is a bar see in the horizontal side we have a bar common the vertical side there is nothing common and in this quad involving cells 1 3 5 and 7 the common variable is c in the horizontal side there is nothing common in the vertical side we have c common a bar or c so this is the simplified boolean expression okay